Hello, my name is Kyle Moliné from Richmond, Virginia, and I'm an anarchist. And today I'm here with my friends. John Howard, I'm a sociologist. I am a fire performer. Daniel Brang, an eminist. And we're here to spread the message of freedom. So, thank you for watching, share, and subscribe if you can. See you guys at the Victory Party. Liberty! 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 So this moral tradition though, that we share against using violence though to solve problems, that's called anarchy. Like mm -hmm. in science, anions and cations, and means without, archy means rulers. Like monarchy, one political ruler, anarchy means without political rulers. And that's what you're voting for, political rulers, right? Strangers to decide how best to, to meet your needs and your preferences. So with what the government then is objectively is that they have a monopoly on the services we already want. Right? I want law, I want security, I want roads, I want all this stuff. But government has monopolized those services. Yeah. Right? They monopolize law, they monopolize security, roads, judges, courts, currency. They can first take your land. Yeah, they eminent domain, yeah. You don't even own your land. You don't even own your car. We pay rent for our cars to the government. Right, see, you don't, you don't even own your own, yeah, right. Yeah, you own nothing. That's crazy. Right. Yeah. So, that, so that's the hidden even more violence. So without a government though, without a monopoly on force, we have we have a free and voluntary society, you have risk diverse communities, risk diverse different purposes. You have a community that's force point friendly and one across the street that's not, right? You have polycentric legal systems, you have freedom of economic choice now. And that's the way it should be. Yes, thank you, yeah. And with government though? The government does have its place though. Well, tell, tell me, please, please, So please. the place that I think government has yeah. is only to make sure that commerce is done in a fair way. It's not there to tax, it's not there to uh, to to put tariffs on and you know and, and pretty much just get as much money and power as they can. Right. I think the 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 best way that the government could possibly act is only between state commerce. Uh, okay. And how would they do that? So we have to have one currency. One currency is definitely the way to Why? go. Well, because if you have 50 different currencies and you, it's just going to take too much time to keep. Uh, going back and forth between currencies is going to waste a lot of time. It's going to waste a lot of effort. It's going to, it's going to waste a lot of money. But would you, would, you, would you not feel that the consumers can best decide for themselves whether that's a good choice for them or not? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Because um, there was a guy who tried to compete against the monopoly of currency uh, a few years ago called the Liberty Dollar. Uh, Iris came in, seized his assets, threw him in a cage. Mm -hmm. Again, you're not allowed to compete against this monopoly of services government has. Mm -hmm. And because you have a monopoly on anything, even in simple Bitcoins. economics. Yeah, Bitcoins. Yes, yeah. thank you. See, Bitcoins uh, are a nice solution. They're awesome. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like and that's not government though. No, right? Absolutely not. Right. Yeah, that, right. Pri private sector is always the answer. Right, right. Yeah, so government has monopolized currency because of that. It's lost over ninety-seven percent of its value. That's the truth. That's the truth. Right. Well, I hope Woodrow Wilson's rotten in hell right now. <laughs> I really do. I really do. <laughs> yeah. So, so then you realize that you don't need government for any of this stuff. Not no. even for international, for for commerce. We can regulate ourselves, and that's a real free market. Absolutely. Uh, we don't what? live in a free market. We don't. Anymore. We not don't. At all. It's, it's a state-controlled market. You know it. Yeah. You oh, know this it. is cool. Hey, you're we just went through the the nightmare of trying to legalize a business because we're starting uh, yes. our own business. Really? Yeah. So we have thoroughly been jumping through hoops, and it's kind of nauseating to watch ourselves do it. But at the same rate, if we yeah, don't, yeah. we can't start a business. Right? Are you trying to doing an online e-commerce business? Mm -hmm. or, uh, no, or we're well, we're we doing are, a services-based business. Right, right, right. Because you can you can reserve and, and pay online, or you can do it in person. Yeah, if, if it's an e-commerce business, there's a lot of ways you just avoid that the paperwork. Right? Oh, we'll be oh, Bitcoin sure. friendly. We'll be yeah, Bitcoin. yeah, 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 yeah. We yeah. are going to be Bitcoin uh, friendly. Yeah, and that's, that's I'm out here trying to promote Bitcoin too. I'm oh, is that to, yeah, yeah. Awesome. So I'm, I'm part of an organization called Liberty RVA. Let's turn cool. to a community as a non-political organization. Turn away from government. Let's solve these problems together as a community. Absolutely. Right. Uh, Bitcoin Absolutely. being like one of the big foundations of pushing for like real currency. Sure. Right? Bitcoin won't throw you to a cage if you compete against exactly. them. Right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But they don't. But you know, whenever the day comes where you actually have a physical Bitcoin, that's when the IRS is really going to start getting involved. Well, they they're not going to let it happen. People, it's never, it can't, it, well, it's, it's, it's digital currency though, so it'll never be a, a physical one. It, the closest yeah. physical it'll be is a, as an app, as I have on my phone, right? Yeah. Blockchain. I'm saying eventually one day, if it really catches on, I think they might actually try right. to do a physical Bitcoin. Okay, all right. So, I, so I think that they might actually, you know, one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right, all right, so say that they attempt the other uh, Litecoin and uh, Barbecue Coin and all the other like uh, BitBar, for example, all the other new digital currency that's emerged using the same format as uh, Bitcoin. They'll look at them and see whether they're able to succeed or not, and then they'll continue to measure. Like for example, like a business, they filled in the business model. 
and the other ones just keep improving upon that, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so the problem with government and their monopoly on services, though, not even during the f shutdown, the federal shutdown, they hold that hostage, mm -hmm. right? Um, you don't have, like, for example, for me, who cares if McDonald's shuts down or hold themselves at hostage? There's Burger Shut King, them all there's down. Wendy's, there's Cookout, but I'm saying you have all the services, right? Sure. So if Bitcoin were to go down, you still have Litecoin, you still have other digital currencies you can still Let people exchanges. decide which one they want to use. Yeah. This yeah. Com competition drives everything. Yes. Without competition, you're not going to get any ingenuity, you're not going to get, you're going to get prices skyrocketing and look, look at Obamacare. You know, yeah. look yes. at Obamacare. Yeah. Yeah. No, competition. no competition. What happened? They, they quadrupled the premiums. Hello, I, that's ridiculous. This is amazing. This is yeah. great to me and I just enlightened individuals here. This absolutely, is, this is pretty cool, man. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, yeah, so I guess I would consider myself a free market anarchist or like an anarcho capitalist. Um, you know, like privatize and homestead everything, right? Uh, you don't need the middleman. You don't need strangers deciding how best to run your lives, how best to run your business. You don't need to ask for mentors. Permits and licenses discriminates against the well-educated poor to compete. The only, the only way that that would work though is if everyone in society was a good person. Right, and yeah. look at other, look at other countries, uh, Somalia. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got failed states. Right. You know, when you have people that don't act right, when you just have people that are bad people. Well, Somalia is a good example. It's so, very good. But so you compare Somalia to the surrounding nations around there in Africa, and when they didn't have government, everything improved. Literacy rate improved. I for mortality rate started to drop. Uh, the, Where? It, it's Somalia. No, no, no. You say uh, uh, yes, in around. comparison to the, the the other African countries surrounding Somalia, they improve in comparison to the countries that had government. Somalia did? Yes. Yeah. Oh, uh, they, they, they were, the economic activity that. improved. Oh, yeah. Really? Uh, so things improved. So how bad was it before? Good God. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's pretty bad. It was really yeah. bad. I mean, you know, in the, in, in the 90s, we, the U.S. was intervening in Somalian foreign policy. Oh, yeah. Right? I mean, oh, yeah. we were funding. General Eid. Right. Exactly. So, I mean, all of those weapons were bought with state money. Yeah. All, all of them. Look at Syria. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know, so... We're doing the same thing. Hey. You just don't see the type that type Good of man. conflict you, with it's impossible without state action. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you know you always you have the yeah. total wacko. Yeah. You have the warlords. warlords are funded by lot by states. Yeah. Often, so often. So when the warlords like are times, right? the warlords are what we're defining as a government. The warlords are doing. They the are the government. Thing. Right. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. so you're just saying, oh, if you didn't. Have the government have warlord really? It's the same thing, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, because you know, the, the, I really feel like the natural tendency for for society is to organize themselves into yeah. a government. Because you know, you can't have you can't have a whole bunch of individuals uh, try try and create an economy without any rules. You gotta have rules. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, that's, and that's what we're advocating. And yeah. We, yeah. we can still have rules. Government has a monopoly, though, on the rules. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, and that's yeah. that's that's the problem. Right. Yeah. You don't even give consent to the rules. Um, you yeah. don't you don't give an agreement. Uh, you don't have competing rules. Yeah. I never voted on well, that. Well, the reason. Yeah. That, exactly. Yeah. The reason that so many governments uh, since the beginning of civilization have ruled everyone is because not everyone is like us. There's too many sheep. Yeah, that's pretty much. Well, weird. I would say that they've misled us into believing that we're sheep, though, yeah. because they've robbed us of many of our choices. We've become more dependent on government. So they tell you the same to, thing over and over again. Yeah. Eventually, a lot of people they create live. sheep too, because yeah. you know, the government. Oh, yeah. is Look at the media. Well, people yeah. are people yeah. are yeah. slaves to their bills. All they do yes. is they, they they keep presenting the same argument over and over and over again. And even though everyone's screaming no, we don't believe this crap. They they continuously <laughs> put this stuff on TV like oh everyone believes it, it. Yeah. everyone's yeah. on our side like yeah. uh yeah. no one's on your side <laughs> yeah. yeah so yeah I mean because I, I consider myself you know more of a libertarian than an anarchist yeah. but you know I, I definitely see what you're saying yeah, yeah. the distinction yeah. for you you do you because I believe that the, the government a lot I'm not exactly sure how you're using it. So I think that the government should be there only to defend our freedom and to defend our 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 individual liberties. We should yeah. we should only have a government that wants to defend our right of freedom of speech. If we have a bunch of people coming in uh, like Islam who who doesn't want any freedom of religion, no freedom of speech, no minority rights, we should put that down. We think everyone should have rights. You should be able to dress the way you want to dress. You should be able to say what you want to say. Right. You should be able to do things you want to do. When you have an ideology that wants to come in and stomp all that out that's when the government should intervene and say no you're not allowed to do that everyone should be able to do what they want to do right well, you know if it doesn't interfere yeah, with somebody yeah, yeah, else yeah, yeah. yeah um yeah the freedom of choice and so what you'll find in a free and voluntary society though when you remove the government aspect of it you'll find those competing communities with those particular rules that they agree to if you want to live in a community where you don't have choices at least it's consensual mm -hmm. right but at the same time in terms of defense i want defense too as much as i want currency and security and roads um all those things can be pr better provided again in a free market because 
then you have competing service to best provide you a defense defense solution. Yeah. Right. Um, you know, I was in the military to myself, so I thought I was defending our freedoms or granting us more freedoms. But you just have to ask yourself, you know, we're freer today than we were five years ago. Right. Absolutely not. Right. Yeah. yeah. Hell right. no. Yeah. So then, and so that, again, that's what happens when anything becomes monopolized. Um, you know, there was a time when they, they were, there was any world power. Yeah, yeah. And there was a time where they were, they were supposed to defend our freedoms, but you know, they realize now it's, it's here at home where we're losing our freedoms and not overseas. Yeah. Right. Let's focus on the problems here. Let's focus yeah. on the problems where, where the, the political rulers have been robbing our freedom of choice to, to do what we want to do, to have yeah. real freedom. Yeah. Um, and it's it's getting kind of scary when they're not even trying to hide it anymore. They're not yeah. even trying. Yeah. Yeah. They're being pretty overt about what they're doing. <laughs> they are. Yeah. You know, there's I, a little bit of it's not really hiding. It's just putting it in plain sight. And, and hoping that they, and yeah. just calling it something even slightly different. Yeah. You know? And then even when they get called on it, they're just yeah. like, ah, you know, we're not going to answer that question. Yeah. Right. And also, uh, we'll get the entire media behind us <laughs> to where we're going to try to make everyone else believe that that's not what you should be talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's rather ridiculous. So, but, I, oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, you know, when... Uh, you're good, you're good, you're good. When, uh, <laughs> you know, with, with the whole currency thing, if... If we had 50 different kinds of currency, yeah. right? Each state has its different currency. Yeah. Which Eventually, is the case right now, we have more than 50 at the international level. At the or, international level, yeah. Right, which are each one of those is a state. And oh, okay, yeah. International yeah. trade yeah. takes place. No okay. problem. There's no problem. Well, that's true. Well, that's true. But 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 you've got the uh, you've got the the global reserve currency. Yeah, which is which is the U.S. dollar. What would happen if they didn't have global reserve currency? It's heading there. They'd right find now. another exactly. global reserve yeah. currency. Exactly, but you always have to have one. <laughs> well, you don't have to. People people choose one of their own. Like, there's no. Well, maybe because you, you got to. Maybe you could argue the U.S. has policies that all that practically dictate the dollar as a reserve currency. Yeah. But oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's possible for the international community or nationally, the individual local states in America, the 50 states, to, to just. On free market terms, come up with a reserve currency. It might turn out, oh, you know, but you always this need one reserve currency. I don't think that you need it. But there, there are many models. Well, of before 1913, there used to yeah. be a lot of competing currencies. Yeah. Towns had their own currency, banks had their own yeah. currency. There is no problem whatsoever. Right. The only time it became a problem has been during the years, subsequent yeah. years before 1913. The government kept taxing alternative currency. There you go. And then, yeah, so like, uh, especially during the Civil War, the Abraham. That's Lincoln. only the government does the right thing now. You well, know that's what they're going to say, get rid of it. Yeah, get rid of it. Get rid of it and all the power away. Yeah. You so they took, a lot of their, right. yeah, so exactly. eventually we came to the point where people felt like alternative currencies became useless because it became too costly to use it because they kept taxing their competing currency against the U.S. dollar. Yep. Um, and then that's where you get the Fed, CC interest rates, and it's lost over 97% of its value. Yep. Um, and again, 100 years, that's like, that's amazing. Yeah. And, and currency is nothing different than a car or a paper clip. Is this another commodity? Sure. It's another good. Sure. That, um, it has value because we give it value. Right. Yeah, like Bitcoin. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And there's no value though when you have uh, this U.S. dollar though because you can print as much as you want and then you increase the inflation. Whereas Bitcoin has scarcity. There's only yeah. so many that you can be mined you know, within a year. Yeah. And um, we can't even try to slow them down. Yeah. <laughs> no matter what anyone tells them, they ha they have a charter that has nothing to do with our government. Yeah. 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 Absolutely nothing to do with that. And it's just cleverly named so that they're everyone thanks yeah. our government. Yeah. Wants it. So so how crazy would it be? Okay. So say we have 50 states and we have. 50 different economies where you can do literally anything you want. Say, say there are no uh, interstate commerce laws and there's nothing like that. You have 50 separate economies. So people are gonna naturally go where there's the best laws, where yeah. they're not gonna ta be taxed the most and they're gonna they're gonna go down. Which which kind of economy do you think is going to do the best? Well, uh, or, or, so actually it won't just be a federal government dissolving or abolishing stuff, it'll also be the state governments abolishing stuff. I mean, states yeah. are nothing more than all their arbitrary lines on a piece of paper. You'll just have like 300,000 diverse rich communities to Okay, so no state line. No state line. No state line. You'd probably still have you have people that would say this is Virginia, you yeah. know, just like neighborhood names, but you know, if someone on this side of the line and someone on this side of the line wanted to trade, sure, mm -hmm. use whatever currency you want. You know, I don't I doubt that there would be, you know, economic lines of you know where currency dominates in the exact region of Virginia after you dissolve yeah, the but state. Is that ever really gonna happen? I and hope they, so. I advocate it, for it. Yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah. It, it just drop all the state lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, yeah, yeah. all, all government. government. So in Florida, all government. yeah, all, all of it. Whole all thing. thing. You don't need it. You don't need it. Don't need it. Oh need man, it. that's the claim. I, you guys are jumping so <laughs> far. <laughs> you guys that's are the really claim. jumping. That's the claim. <laughs> but but why not? The things that you talked about that why you needed. Yeah, why not? Was protection of your freedoms and rights. Same, but same things really. I mean, if 
you're, all you're talking about is your freedom, basically. Yeah, um, absolutely. That no, and it's the most important thing we've got. Right. If you're going to protect that, you need what? I mean, imagine you're talking about something like what guns we have, and ammo. guns and ammo, like a police force now. Now, uh, something like that. Oh, you need sure. Guns and ammo. Sure. You need people that are able to use force against anyone else that would wish to use force against them, right? Because exactly. we don't need the guns for anything else. Exactly. Um, Self defense. Yeah, we both believe, and I don't know if you already talked about the non-aggression principle. Sure. So, as long as no one else is attacking. Right, right, right exactly. So I think we agree. You're, you're agreeing with exactly the same thing. Yeah. We would just the gut. What the government does though is it violates that to pay oh, for that service does. You know, through right. taxation. I'm saying no taxes. If you want protection, get a gun or pay yeah. someone else to get a gun. So how do y'all propose that this government gets wiped out? Uh, all right. So interesting. Last week in Florida, uh, there is a government agency that just abolished itself. What? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what? I didn't yeah, hear that this is the because first time in <laughs> U.S. history. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, nobody even like people in this in this county never even heard of this agency, but they've been they've been in existence for 60 years, and then they realized that uh, <laughs> they we haven't really it. been doing anything, nothing productive. We've been showing up for work for 60 years. People have been paying taxes for it, but that's pretty much what you'll find. What were they doing? Uh, they're part. They used to be there for part of like a. Uh, uh, probably a FDR uh, way to kind of create jobs. You know, oh, jobs that shouldn't really? be needed, shouldn't be around, uh, then would not have existed in the free market. And nobody used it. Yeah, so it's been around for 60 years. It's something to do with like trying to help farmers farm. It's like, you're like obviously you're not a farmer. I mean, let the farmers figure that out. Right? <laughs> government can't farm. Yeah. Go, the government cannot farm. Right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so they, but the last yeah. week, they, nice worst farmers, they <laughs> pass a resolution on their own. Uh, that we just abolished our own agency. So, so they just voted themselves out of a job. That's uh, pretty incredible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they're, they're, yeah. yeah, they just lost their job. I mean, something that, well, they were yeah. all probably well. That's fine. That's that's, that's good. That's yeah, a, but that's they probably good. understood. Yeah, that we're stealing yeah. people's money for something that nobody wants or needs. And, and that's yeah, they're all like a week away from retirement. Yeah, let's just abolish it. <laughs> something right. I'm drafting right now Whatever. is I'm writing a letter to the two state senators from Virginia, uh, Warner and Kane. I'm writing them each individual letters. I know Tim Kane. Uh, Hope you see this, Tim Kaine. You know, and to to say not a fan of yours. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan. You know, and to to, to basically lay out my case um, from my point of view, and to lay out my case from his point of view, where he's the agent of my authority. Which, you know, I don't yeah. agree to that. Where I have a and to lay out both. But yeah, well, it's not. But 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 I can still write it. He doesn't sure. have to read it. He, but I'm basically gonna you know, some call staffer for, out there call for his resignation that. and call for Warren's resignation. The people that according to their statements are representing me. But you know what they're going to say. Yeah, All but these crazy I still, fringe groups out sure, here trying sure. to get us to but shut I down the government. I my yeah. argument in a not crazy way. Yeah. He might, he, he can do whatever he wants with it, but I have control over those statements that I make to yeah. him. And I can request So, So pretty much, Tim Kaine believes that he has the right to our property, and if we don't give it to you, you're going to come, you're going to take all of our property, and you're going to throw us in jail. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Oh, Sounds about right. Yeah. Sounds about right. Um, all right, all right. So, so how to get there, you look at yeah. Detroit, unfunded liabilities, oh costs, uh, demise, yeah. and bankruptcy. Yeah. Uh, so, and again, it takes over an hour for that security to respond to 911 calls. But inside that, you'll find uh, there was a guy who created his own security. Uh, he, he, and he, these neighborhoods are paying for the security, mm -hmm. right? He's not throwing yes. people into cages for, you heard of this, right? Not for victimless crimes. So and then you'll find free market people who want to provide these services that we do want. But again, last year, 47% of all homeowners stopped paying their property taxes. This stopped, right? So we can get to that point together as a community when we, when we become united and push this idea forward. 47% of yeah. homeowners stopped paying property stopped taxes? Stopped paying their property taxes. This Where did you get that? Uh, so you can look at reason.com. You can look at, uh, and just, t just type in 47% homeowners, Detroit, Stop oh, in Detroit. Okay, yeah, okay, just okay, in Detroit. Okay. Yeah. I was like, oh my. Yeah. yeah. Really? yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Detroit, so, 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 but the thing Makes is, sense. so you can get to that point. Well, like one by one, if each one of us just stops, you know, they could pick you up, right? Sure. But unitedly, like there's a guy in DC. Right. Look at the veterans. Right. Yeah. DC. So unitedly, we can do something, right? Uh, and then we can say no more property taxes. Uh, let's not legitimize the idea that strangers have more have the power to control your life. And that's what government is. It's just an illusion, right? Yeah. That we grant strangers to decide how best our lives should be lived. Right? Mm -hmm. What we can and cannot do with their own bodies. Well, you know, the people, the agents that are out there that are actually carrying out these orders that, uh, you know, military police force. Yeah. Uh, you, you got the Oath Keepers out there. So, and there's there's a there's a lot of them out there. There are some. There's a lot. I, I, I don't know how many. I don't know if there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. Right. My, my units, uh, we're, they're good. Right. Oh, what, I don't know. What, what are, what are you? Guard. Guard. National, National Guard. Guard. Okay. And we, we've already we've already had the whole talk on if we Did if you? we get orders to right, go and to come shoot in, civilians, and you would not. Hell no. Well, not I'm, only I'm, are we not doing that, but we're going to detain anybody who gives us those orders. Let's get it here. And we're not <laughs> we're not going to we're we're not going to kill them. We're not going to shoot yeah. them. We're just going to detain them until until yeah. everything calms down. Right. Which is 
Just chill. Yeah. Yeah. Don't hurt people. Yeah. Yeah. If you won't chill, then we're going to make you chill. Right? Yeah, and yeah. then that's the thing. I mean, it's not so much that we swore an oath to a document or a constitution. Yeah. We actually swore an oath to protect the friends and family that we do care Absolutely. and love yeah. them, right? This, we, care, do, we sign up to, to protect that freedom, right? Absolutely. Um, and that's, I mean, that's, that was, that's what I thought I was joining into to do that, right? Mm -hmm. And so um, after that, and coming here and after I'm out of the military, you know, I have to kind of continue to do that. Mm -hmm. um, but not politically, only in that, you know. Hopefully you got some good training. Yeah. <laughs> well, There's a lot of good security forces, so yeah, a lot what of good training. What'd you do? Security forces, just security. Uh, just mostly MP, law enforcement, security. You're an MP? Yeah, just holding us guns, pretty much gun talking yeah. around. Um, Writing a lot of rebuttals, though. Uh, <laughs> rebuttals for what? rebuttals for uh, like disrespecting non-commissioned officers. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. yeah, I got little some little of things like that. Yeah. <laughs> Which, I got warrant. I got a warrant. I got into it with a warrant officer in the chow hall. Right. Oh man, they tried to hit me up. <laughs> didn't work. Didn't work. No. Yeah. My uh, CEO too. And he's a douche. All right. I, I learned how to write good arguments. Then. Yeah. Uh, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I was a, uh, I was a, I was a, I was a paper writing machine. <laughs> Double duty a lot. So he got some serious, his entire unit in some serious trouble yeah. for writing a letter. <laughs> oh yeah, no, yeah, I actually got my CEO fired. Um, he, this was like what, like four years ago? Yeah, because a lot of it was because when we were in college and stuff. Um, it was me and probably like 30 other guys and, and uh, we were we were gearing up for a deployment and he was like, oh, we're gonna take you out of school for two weeks right before uh, finals. And we were like, uh, well, sir, you know, if we get pulled out of school and we fail a course, we actually have to pay that money back. Mm -hmm. So here's a letter where we're all formally requesting not to have to do this because you're gonna screw us on money. And you know what he did? Took the letter, final formation, ripped it up and laughed on our faces. And I was like, that's cool because, uh, uh, who was it? Uh, Rob Whitman. Rob Whitman, uh, who is the congressman from out in, uh, in Williamsburg, mm -hmm. wrote him a letter. We all signed it, and it <laughs> went went straight to the tag. The uh, we had a we had a two star on the phone with the uh, with the CEO and the first sergeant within about 24 hours, <laughs> and then he they both called me up freaking out. I can't believe you actually wrote the letter. But I was like, well, if you don't got the right answer, maybe you fucked up. Man. Right. <laughs> and he's like, and he just they just read me out right, and then hang up the phone, and I was like. That's cool. I guess I can write another letter. You know, I guess the only thing that happens is we got ringed out. And then he called me back like 30 seconds. Like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it. And I was like, yeah, whatever, dude. Right. He, he was fired. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, and, and the thing is, I still want defense. I still want security. I still want all this stuff, too. But I think we can do it in a much better way that, uh, you know, privatizing it, right? Sure. Um, having free economic choice. Well, you know, we got we got armed robbers and stuff that happen right here in Richmond. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what are we going to do about that? Uh, well, you, could, you can still create dispute resolution organizations. You can still create uh, organizations with security. Uh, cops aren't doing but even, too much about even it. But even if you create an organization to go against the government, you still have to pay your taxes. You still have to get your licenses and your permits. Right, right, you still right. have to jump through your hoops. Right, right, right. Yeah, and that's why I said do what you have to do right now in the capacity you're able And that's to. what we're doing. Yeah. We're doing, yeah. we're starting this business now at a young age so that we can get to a level of influence where we can change things but we right. know right now we're just not in that position right i, I understand and too. you, I you understand. waste a lot of energy trying to change things when you have no influence right and until you get that influence it's almost a waste of breath because right. people with influence are not influence. right right and, and that's why uh, we started this a year ago now liberate rba now there's other liberate communities across the country uh, cool. there's even one in well, australia awesome. uh so that's kind of building this up you know a few years from now finally but maybe we'll have a few thousand and then finally we can say it's yes, yeah. like in detroit no more property taxes united because what they're going to do eventually once the word comes out of what this philosophy is about that's the last thing government wants everyone to know knowing about what the non-aggression principle sure. knowing about the true relationship that you're nothing do, but do tax slaves and really nothing but political that, rulers do, do people really sit there and think about the fact that they have people acting on their behalf that are committing violence on their behalf that i don't think about yeah that. yeah no absolutely not but now, so a lot of people also don't think about the fact that they're robbing right from your paycheck when yeah. they take a welfare yeah. check. Yeah. They don't think of it that way. They think, oh, no, I think Obama's they they paying know. me, they but they don't realize that, you know, I don't think they do. They I, think, I think a lot of them are really ignorant and don't realize that they're stealing from their neighbors. And that's the public indoctrination system. Um, yeah, I think they should have to go to their neighbor to pick up their, their uh, welfare check and tell them that they can't work. And I'm so sorry, I need you to pay my rent today. But right. you can even add that uh, Social Security, right? You never yep. agreed to that before you were born. Mm -hmm. That's still taken away from your paycheck. You'll yeah. never have that. You'll never remember yeah. this time for your retirement. They've been There's robbing Social there. Security for, what, 50 years? Yeah, yeah they have. <laughs> Likewise, I feel I have to point this out. Likewise, your salary is paid with the taxes, too, that was taken from people involuntarily. You're paid by the National Guard. Oh, every month, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, you're in the exact same That's situation true. that the welfare system. Well, no, I work well, for that. Granted, welfare people don't work for you it. Don't, 
There's no work to welfare anymore. Right, they, but they, you're they working that. for an entity that's paying you with money stolen from tax. But I'm a part of it so that I can make sure that the yeah. government doesn't fuck up with so much. Because once they start giving us those orders, that's when they start getting detained. Yeah, it's nice to have people like you that I hear say that in that position, but just the raw economics of sure. it, the, the tax. Sure, it's working for the government, you're it's, right. It's, it, which is, you know, I just wouldn't want to lose sight of. I'm getting at me. That, that, yeah, that, that. I mean, in a, I, they, they just sent me, <laughs> a, they just well, sent me after, a sniper school last after, month, so. In his defense, when, as soon as he came home from Iraq, he came home with a totally different perspective. Yeah. He, he, he came home saying, you know, I wish I didn't work for the government, and yeah. I wish that I wasn't over there protecting corporate strong arm, because yeah. that's all he did. That's all it was. Yeah. My sister's in the KBR. National, National Guard. She's a combat medic, and she did a. She was in Tajikistan for 18 months. Tajikistan. Yeah. God, and uh, barren, you, crappy. Was crap. it? Didn't see any combat. Hasn't you know? Hasn't. But um. Yeah, you know she. And Still crap. She has you know she's like well I'm a medic you know and I'm even further removed. Um, but she, you know, she hey, has, combat medics yeah. do some pretty cool stuff. We have yeah, some combat medics attached to us. That yeah. yeah, we have a friend, uh, Panzer Tall Guy, uh, Mortuary Affairs. He was over there in Iraq too. Came back. Uh, Those guys were crazy. Uh, Realized uh, that yeah, the, the exact nature of what government is. Uh, uh, now yeah, he's also an anarchist, yeah. voluntarist. He calls himself a voluntarist. Yeah. Have you heard of the term? No, no. Yeah, I don't. I I identify much more with the term voluntarist. Um, I absolutely not consider myself. Yeah, so an you're saying like you're a libertarian. <laughs> so I guess yeah. you've heard of the word non-aggression principle. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Cool. I got yeah. I got much degrees in sociology. Nice. Nice. Oh, so philosophy. Cool, cool. <laughs> very, 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 yeah. very similar. Very similar. Yeah, very similar. Very I mean, similar. Yeah. Uh, many years of uh, criminal justice. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but voluntarist or voluntarist, I've seen both floating around. Yeah, I've seen both of them without the Y and with the Y. I don't. It's a little inconsistent, but um, it's in effect uh, the only human association that still exists is voluntary association. Sure, it, it should. Right? Not, right. But think about the whole history of the world. That's yeah. not how it's ever worked. It has in places before. It has. I mean, where does it work? It's worked when you were a kid playing at the at the, the playground, right? You didn't, uh, you know, hold a yeah, gun teachers. at. Yeah, teachers. Yeah, teachers. Oh, yeah, the teachers did it to you, but your interaction, they told you, don't steal, yeah. don't hurt other kids, ask permission, I'm trying sure. to teach your consent. But of course, when you become an adult, become further and better. But well, then matrix. you had those kids that were still those little dickheads, and they were right. all around kicking the hell out of all the other. Right, right, I mean, right, there, right. there are t small towns that have one police officer that never is Or there's Farmville yeah. that yeah. has like That's 30. True. Yeah, but right. I mean, we have more than that. It's right, terrible. but you don't. And there's there's anarchy right. Here. No, I'm you know, talking about like uh, in whole countries. Uh, Iceland, uh, medieval Iceland has a good example yeah. how it worked for like over 500 years. Yeah. They only had one aspect of government, and that was in the criminal justice system, where eventually he was uh, able to be bribed, and that's how the whole thing collapsed. I so have, that I've one exception. Done my research yeah, on Celtic. Uh, yeah. yeah, look up Iceland. And, uh, I know they had the uh, the peaceful revolution about two years ago now, where yeah. they had the same problems that we had with the banks yeah. and the debt, and they just oh, yeah. said, oh, by the way, we don't owe anybody anything, and also all the bankers and politicians, yeah. you go to jail. All right. Look up the that was pretty awesome. okay. Celtic Anarchy. Example of um, search that. Huh? Limited government seven. existed once here. Okay. Yeah. That was called 1736. Sure. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah but right after Marbury versus yeah. Madison, that's when it started going out. Yeah. Right. Well, but the things about yeah. the nature of yeah. government yeah. that yeah. has yeah. 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 increasing yeah. Uh, in size. Yeah. Uh, they yeah. Yeah. never become yeah. limited. Yeah. You can really be yeah. smaller. Yeah. Right. And its very nature has to continue to increase because of the unfunded liabilities. Oh, absolutely. Once once government gets a revenue stream or once they get power, they will never give it back. Yeah. Not peacefully at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until they come to their own good conscience, like in Florida, it's like, all right, abolish themselves right so I'm oh gonna, yeah 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 I have uh, two things I want to ask you about because I heard you say them and you know they're not hearing you elaborate on them sure. the buzzwords sure. you talked about Islam and unions okay and I want to no I'm just curious about it, you know because you said something about um, the ideology of Islam okay and I agree that there are some Islamists prominent ones that we see that have that ideology but I wanted to know if you what your claim about that was or if you are aware that there are many other people that are Muslims that are completely in agreement with me and with yeah. us, mm -hmm. the non-aggression principles. You know? For sure, there are there are billions and billions and billions of people on there, yeah. and not one of them is ever going to think the same. Yeah. But Islam has a massive problem with violent radicalism. Yeah. Big, big, big problem. Not only is is that the problem of the people that are actually carrying these things out, but it's the problem where you see in Yemen. Uh, Saudi Arabia is, is one of those ones where the the population supports it. They don't. Not everyone goes out and actually acts on this, but they yeah. support it. They don't talk out about it. They don't. Uh, you know, you don't have the the mullahs and the sheiks that always come out and you know after you know well, what's, you know like Nairobi we just had the four day mall attack or whatever. Mm -hmm. You didn't hear any of them coming out and and, and and demonizing what they did. They don't hear any of them coming out and say, oh, this was so terrible. I can't believe they did this. 
Silence. I, no, silence. I, that's incorrect, though. I, I I have heard people come out and say that. I know some of them. I, I'm friends with people that not are, the prominent, not yeah, the leader, not not, not the certain prominent ones. But it's that's also what I'm that's also a media bias. Anything. Exactly. No, that's also no. a media bias. I mean, that is a myth that oh no 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 we, that many people that have power would wish to propagate. That Islam there will definitely be we've always been at every day. With, uh, what, Eurasia, Eurasia, Eurasia. Yeah. Well, like the uh, you know, like the Barbary Wars. Mm -hmm. you know, the only way that we stop them from attacking our ships, you know, for a long time. I, I really, I know nothing about this. So, so the Barbary Wars is uh, back in the 1700s. Yeah. Back in 1700s. Early so, 1800s. Yeah. We, uh, you know, in the Mediterranean Sea, we were, we had a lot of cargo ships over there, and and, and all the Muslims uh, kept attacking our cargo ships and taking over. Well, for about 10 to 15 years, we were paying them off. Uh, to not attack us. Well, eventually, uh, Thomas Jefferson came to power, and we had the Barbary Wars, where we went over there and we kicked their ass. And then they left us alone for about 100 years. Oh, oh yeah, I remember being vaguely yeah, no rings a bell. Actually, I have, I'm, I'm gonna research that. Yeah, one. yeah, check it out. Home, yeah. There, but there are there are definitely billions and billions of Muslims, and not certainly by no means could you ever say that all of them right. supported or anything. But there is a massive problem with violent radicalism, and there is also Wouldn't a massive problem with the, the leadership a, not talking about that. A violent, but a problem with violence in uh, Judaism and Christianity. Uh, say the same thing not, Christian. anywhere, not anywhere near as much. Well, at least that's not yeah, their I message. Yeah, I would have Throughout to Throughout history, yes, but not today. What about I mean, the, the state of Israel, which is a I mean, religious Israel's state? A, and, well, I, I, I see a lot in the way uh, even people. Christians treat pagans, uh, even yeah. in the military. Or the, all, uh, like even the, the, all the, the U.S. politicians yeah. are Christians. Yeah, yeah it took like even 10 years for the Veterans Affairs to grant even a pagan state. I don't think George Bush was a Christian. Look what he did. Obama's a Christian. Obama's not a Christian. He's not a Christian. There you go. So, hey, well, but look at his book. Yeah, he's going to stand with the Muslims. That's what he said in his book. He said that. He wrote it down. All right. Uh, and, and I guess in this, a lot of these ideas are kind of you know thousands of years old, and that's kind of the thing we can. We've been at war with them for a long time. Touch forward. The Crusades did not just. It wasn't just a one-time thing. The Crusades I mean, are still going on today. The Crusades, right. No, we didn't start it. No, they they were attacking us. Actually, on the eastern uh, on the eastern yeah, front of Greece, to differ. Like the Pope of that time, basically was like, "Hey, man." Pope Urban II finally brought everyone together to go defend themselves, but they had been getting attacked for hundreds of years. Check it out, man. Check I, it out. I beg to differ. Well, you can't differ with the facts, though, man. I'll look it up. No, when I was when I was overseas, all I did was read books on the Crusades because I wanted to know about it. I read books from the Christian perspective, from the Muslim perspective, and people that were neither. Mm -hmm. And the fact of the matter is that. Muslims were attacking it was it wasn't just Christians it was pagans and it was other people as well but a lot of it was just Muslims attacking Christians finally in in like 1096 Pope Urban II finally got went on went on this long tour all around Europe and told everybody what was happening and said we need to go defend our brothers and sisters over here and that's when they started taking some of the land back all right promise man I promise I'm not just making it up yeah 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 yeah, yeah. and uh, you know Media bias is always going to be there. Mm -hmm. It's always going to be. Well, so they cater to the politics, right? They yeah. cater to again, like the sheep you're mentioning that, that they create um, and, and kind of distract, and that's and that's the matrix. Well, they can't be created without permission. Yeah, they can though. They give themselves permission now. They now I'm talking about the sheep. Oh, the sheep. Oh, yeah. Well, when yeah, you start well, with a one-year-old, yeah, they're not really in a in a position to give permission or not. They, yeah, but their by parents the time are, they have anything, their yeah, parents and, and are. their parents, parents started parents when they were, you, yeah. you know. And that's the thing. We're all kind of born into the matrix yeah. in that capacity. Yeah, but then there's people like you yeah. and me and him yeah. who were born and we it's didn't possible. go that way. It's possible. It's an uphill battle for a lot of people. Yeah, yeah but a lot of people aren't willing to fight it. Yeah. Oh, yes. And that's and that's why we have to kind of keep keep talking about this and try to help each other and plug. But you know how exhausting it is to try to convince someone that doesn't want to be convinced. Right, yeah, and for me, I said, well, hopefully you like to have the idea that one day violence will set us free and you take good care, I'll talk to someone else who's ready. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm out here pretty much every day. I've been out here for about a good year and I have, I've talked really? to over a hundred people now who agree that violence is immoral, agree on the immorality of government. Uh, here, here at Richmond, here at the Compass. But shouldn't so, you should be able to defend yourself? Yeah, you should be able to defend yourself. Yeah, so a lot what, of people so what, so with the non-aggression principle, if you're able to defend yourself right. and you have a government that has given themselves the permission to, to commit violence upon you right. with, with no provocation, are we are we saying that we have the right to defend ourselves against the government right now? Well, I guess the thing you have to also understand: there's no such thing as a government, only individual people. So yeah. point out the individual people uh, that uh, as uh, I guess attack, right? Um, okay. You know, like um, 
Yeah. Like, uh, and then that's, that's really, I mean, you can't show that's your face. Yeah, yeah. That's the problem. That's the problem. There's no face on the Right. So, the like, bottom. yeah, on the website, one day we're going to probably put like a social ostracism list people who have initiated this violence, government okay. agents, and that's so people idea. can understand. Like ABC extortionists, right? They can uh, hamper us down a lot of local businesses around here. Attack those that, that young girl up in Charlottesville for having about a bottle of sparkling water. Oh, I know. Um, yeah, right. Carrying that was crazy. It, carrying right. The victimless crimes, yeah. right? Yeah. So, yeah, that, so that's, those are the individuals you have to point out. Um, yeah. Yeah, I would say I'm not calling on anyone to defend themselves if they don't wish to. I am making the claim that it is moral to defend yourself against any other human being sure. that attempts to harm you. Absolutely. Right. Regardless so that's, the, that's the claim, regardless the, of who that is. Yeah. Well, but the problem is, though, say say you're walking out and with some sparkling yeah. water and you're doing nothing wrong and this cop attacks you. You defend yourself against that cop. Yeah, you do. Eventually, it's gonna he's gonna yeah. pull his gun, and then if you got a gun, you're gonna shoot him because you're yeah. defending yourself. Right. And then you're gonna go to jail. Do I think that you're morally right? Yes, in that situation. Do I think that that's a choice <laughs> that you you're gonna make. suffer yeah. for making? Right. Probably. Oh, yeah. Yes, and I think each. It, it, in this, to make that choice. It, sure. the society sure. we're in, that's a very imprudent decision to make if you value your safety in life. But there are people that have said, you know, I don't value my safety in life, for example, I won't pay my taxes. And then they get arrested and then they go to jail. There are other people who say, you know, I, I won't pay my taxes and people come and they get in a gunfight in Waco or something, you know? Yeah, yeah. So um, I think probably the claim I would make about uh, using violence to protect yourself for defense um, is that it is, while I think it's morally justifiable, there are many situations that we find ourselves in that if I were to do that, I would look illegitimate to many people and I would only bring, uh, I would bring a lot of harm. <laughs> like, On what you're trying to do. Yeah, and right? it's not that Absolutely. I would do it, it's that other people would respond to me that way. Sure. Um, so, totally you know, it's decisions I, that each person has to make, um, but I think that's a, to, to separate that out, yes, it's a decision you have to make. My claim is that you're gonna lose your freedom. That, that we, we this, advocate there's the morale, yeah. the morality of defense. Yeah. One one big weapon though against like the would-be aggressors is social ostracism. Yeah, it uh, works in the markets, works on eBay, bad business, um, the yeah. bad reputation. No one would do business with you. So you find out who the extortionists are, you find out who the would-be aggressors are, um, you let it, let it be known, and socially ostracize them. And that no go. one's gonna allow you into their diners, into their hotels, into their place of business. No one's gonna smile. You look at you, all your friends on Facebook will unfriend you. Your AT&T service provider will pay you 150 dollars to cancel. The payment plan hey, um, and that's, that's how, a good idea right yeah. yeah how would you get how would you get that word out like say say yeah. say we had a vcu cop that right. was uh being a huge dick and doing the exact kind of stuff right. what, what, what would you do where how uh, would you get we, his name on we, we get his we get, well, of course we get uh get his photo what he looks like flyer all around him, yeah. right put flyers right. nobody right. so, talk to this yeah. guy so, so, so the first thing the first guy. thing i would want to do of course objectively assess the situation talk to the victim who he aggressed see if the cop wants to make restitution realize that he's wrong you know give an opportunity for the person to make restitution it's like you know what mike i didn't know uh, yeah, that seems right. And pay restitution, right? Because the first person who has some uh, matter of saying and what should happen should be the victim. Yeah. Sure. Right. Sure. Um, and of course, if the cop says, "You know, fuck you," what are you going to do? It's like, all right, well, now we we'll take it to escalate it to the next level. Yeah. Uh, take your take your photo, fly her up all around here. Good luck finding a job. You know, we're not going to stop until you're fired. Huh? Well, because you got to get you got to get permits to put up flyers. Just you don't need to get permits. Pieces of paper. Who's going to find you for putting up a piece of paper? That's like you just put them up there, like. Uh, yeah, just put them up. Do a campaign, you know, where, yeah, there, there's a lot of different ways that we can well, find. I, I don't know, I don't know, like, Richmond City ordinance and stuff, but right. I know, it's, it's, well, like, where I mean, we went to college, you got to have permits. Like, I mean, all right, well, well, imagine, like the, he, he, the thing is, it's a piece of paper, there, there's nobody yeah. there, you can do it at night, you know? Yeah. You can, yeah. It's anonymous, right? Yeah. Uh, anybody can do this. Uh, so, and that's, then that, we come together and find creative non-violence ways to handle that situation. Yeah, right? okay. And that's, that's the fun part. That's good, yeah, yeah. just socially ostracize him. I like that. Yeah. That's fun. That's fun. It all the time, man. Yeah. The pygmies. The pygmies? Yeah, that's how they have a murder that takes place in a tribe or something. They go through oh, yeah. this process and exercise it. Yeah, actually, that's this like is awesome. how they resolve uh, violent conflicts in Iceland for those 500 yeah. years. Like yeah. sometimes they will have like neighboring battles between communities, but the thing is, there's one rule: if a person were to die, the person who murdered him uh, would have to pay restitution to the family. Right, so it was very costly. The violence was very costly, so it, was, it wasn't really available. They didn't really do it as much. But in the what event, happens if they couldn't back? Right, they became socially ostracized by everyone in Iceland. So that nobody would, would invite them back into the community. Uh, right, right. Yeah, and it's know. actually a much better deterrent if you just look at it historically. It's it, any community that has done that has deterred crime. All right. I know. Last thing I would have raped or murdered. Right. I know. Right. <laughs> yeah.
So We're that's, that's in a, two hour oh. parking. Oh yeah, wow. that's a pleasure, pleasure. Yes, pleasure absolutely. I'll, I'll definitely look out for you guys. What was your, what was your name? I'm Sarah. Sarah. I'm Sarah. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Sean. Cal. Sean. Hi, yeah. nice to meet you. What, what, you guys got a website? Yeah, yeah. Oh, she picked up the I pamphlet. Got, I got the <laughs> we'll check it out. Yeah, we'll okay, definitely check man. it out. It was good talking to you guys. Yes, well, yes, yeah, well, yes. Have a good day. You too.